I'm drinking only water, and not eating, for 30 days to detox my liver and kidneys, said the perfectly healthy 25 years slash oh also a medic. Medical professionals, what is the stupidest misconception a patient has had about the human body? I still remember reading a Reddit comment from a doctor years ago that they were telling the person they were about to lose a finger. They said the person seemed way too okay with it, so the doctor asked how they were handling it so well and the person genuinely told them that it won't be too bad because at least fingers grow back. It began a whole slew of comments from other doctors with patients who had the same misconceptions about limb amputations. Mom brought newborn to the ER because he keeps making grunting sounds like he can't breathe. No sounds like this during the exam, they ask mom to try having baby latch, nurse. She does and baby is fine. Sometime later pages the nurse because he's making noises. They were bowel sounds. Normal bowel sounds. Hilarious but she was worried. 10 tenths good mom. Patient comes to the ER with an infected foot wound and streaking up the leg. Turns out they were walking barefoot on their porch and stepped on some metal scraps, don't remember what they were from. Patient tried to remove these but evidently a piece of one broke off in the process and was too deep to see or grasp properly. So, they left it in there for over a week. Reasoning was, I thought it would fester out. Patient with seafood allergy presents to ER with swollen lips, hives, itchy throat. Provider takes a history asking if the patient could have been exposed to seafood or cross-contamination. Have they eaten new food or at a new establishment? The whole nine. While being treated, patient adamantly denies this. They keep trying to figure out what the allergen could have been because it's a pretty strong reaction. Eventually the patient gets frustrated and admits they ate shrimp pasta, but it can't be from that because he took two tablespoons of honey first and it coats things in there. As in, shrimp can somehow not penetrate the magical honey fortress. They seem to think that, by pausing a seizure to inform us that they're having a seizure, they'll get benzos. Lala no. Nurse here. We work with patients with kidney issues. Our biggest misconception. The product no salt is totally safe to eat dot 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 wrong. No salt is a potassium based product to mimic salt texture for a food dot 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 but now puts you into a whole new issue with having high potassium from frequent use, leading to cramping, arrhythmias, and even death. Edit, I saw this picking up and wanted to clarify. You can eat potassium in your diet. Fruits and vegetables are always safe to eat, as long as they're not in high excess. Eating 8 potatoes a day is not what I'd call an average diet. The problem with the shaker design is you can't regulate how much you're putting on, and most people don't record daily quantity. If your doctor is prescribing you potassium tablets due to hypokalemia, that is a safe example of a good potassium intake. How are you feeling today? Not great, I have a cough that starts from an emotion in my throat and chest. That emotion disturbs me. A bacterial pneumonia. Roommate is a neighborhood spiritual guru. Not a medical professional but a biology teacher. Anyone who has seen a picture of the pituitary gland may understand why I had a student who thought the testicles were in the brain. There are a few times a year where a teacher may have to try and hide their incredulous astonishment at student misconceptions and I'm ashamed to say I didn't manage at that time. Did you have anything this morning for your fasting blood draw? No, just tea with honey, and a glass of orange juice. My mother, a doctor, volunteered to give a health lecture to high school girls in the South, Arkansas to be precise. During the QA period, when she asked if anyone had questions, a girl asked her if it was true that lemon juice was a good contraceptive option. She didn't understand so the girl explained that after her boyfriend came inside of her, she would squeeze lemon juice into her vagina to prevent pregnancy from occurring. I wasn't there but can only imagine the look on my mother's face based on the way she reacted to my idiocy throughout my childhood. Wanting a wheelchair to be made wider, but not wanting it to actually be wider. 
client comes to my wheelchair clinic saying the chair got too small, they gained weight but want to blame the wheelchair, and could I get them the wider one? I can actually adjust the current one but just before I get the toolbox I ask about any narrow doors. Turns out the current setup only just fits through her front door. If I make it even one inch wider she won't be able to get in her house. Took a while to get her to understand that widening the chair does indeed widen the chair, and no I can't widen the seat without widening the overall width. I've had many others from wheelchair clinic, I accidentally told the parents of a 6 year old nonverbal, not independently mobile child with global developmental delay that she would never be normal. They thought developmental delay meant she'd catch up eventually, like the difference between a train being delayed or cancelled. I had to clarify and explain their daughter would never live independently because apparently everyone assumed they knew and never explicitly told them. Clients who haven't walked in years but still don't want a wheelchair that will give them independent mobility because that's giving up. They're still determined to walk and in the meantime will rely on being pushed everywhere. I just feel sorry for them, their lives could be so much better if they accept what they have and let me help. We now keep a mini plastic skeleton in the clinic room so I can explain what bones look like when sitting, it's used regularly with people who just can't understand what the bony parts they can feel under their bum are. I had an amputee kid wondering when his leg would grow back, but he's a kid and can be forgiven for that, fortunately no adults with the same question yet. I had to explain to a pregnant woman once that the baby is coming out of her vena. She was almost six months pregnant and was horrified, I think she thought all babies were just c-sectioned out. I overheard a guy talking to another at a pregnancy clinic. I just don't get it, she was standing up, the SRM would have just come out how is she pregnant? And both of them seemed very confused. One person who didn't think the stroke they were having was a big deal because they could get some brain transplanted from donors right? I just. I couldn't even. There's so many. A lot of people on medication and they have no idea what they're taking it for. Oh, do you have any health conditions? No. Ten minutes later I re-ask no conditions? No diabetes? Or high blood pressure? Oh yes I have those. Just. Oh Lord. There was this really sheltered guy I knew who used to ask, which would you rather have, balls that were the size of baseballs or softballs? And we thought it was some weird hypothetical. Turned out no, he had one the size of each. Obviously, dude had some serious medical issues going on. But when we found out, I can only imagine the conversation that guy ended up having with the doctor. I'm a dentist and the thing we get all the time that I hate is parents not caring about their child's decay because they're just baby teeth. Losing baby teeth early causes all sorts of problems aside from the pain and trauma but in addition to that I often have to explain to parents that the adult teeth that erupt at age 6 are meant to last forever. They're always oblivious. Not the dumbest, but most recent. I had a patient who needed a tooth extracted young teenage girl, obviously very sheltered. She was telling me how bad it hurts, and I asked her what she takes for pain. I apply a little clove oil to it when it keeps me up at night. I asked if that works and she goes um. Not really. When I told patient and mom to control post-operative pain with ibuprofen and acetaminophen, they looked at me like I had grown a second head. I offered a diabetic a tissue after doing a finger prick to mop the two drops of blood on his finger. He looked at me like I was an absolute idiot, said you don't know very much do you and sucked the blood off his finger. Then spend the next 5 minutes educating me that because he was a diabetic, he needed all the blood he had. Therefore, he needed to put it back into his body rather than wasting it by putting it on a tissue. He was under the impression that if he just drank his blood it would go straight back into circulation. Edit, guys and girls, thanks so much for all the awards, upvotes, and comments. But please stop I literally can't get through it all and I want to go to bed. My mother asked me once, completely serious, why brain transplants were not possible. 
She didn't understand why if you had an inoperable brain tumor they couldn't just pop a new one in there like it was a heart or liver. I tried to explain to her that it wouldn't be the same person, but she just stared at me blankly. I love my mother but oh if that was probably one of the stupidest conversations I've ever had. Previous medic year. But I don't have any sugar in my house. I'm type 1 and trying to lose weight on the keto diet. I'm drinking only water, and not eating, for 30 days to detox my liver and kidneys, said the perfectly healthy 25 years slash oh also a medic. Oh, my daughter has group. So, I just sliced up some onions and put them in her socks for her to wear to bed. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Angry son of a COPD patient, set my mom's oxygen higher. If you set IT higher she won't have COPD. I had to explain to a patient's dad that his son's heart was at risk due to fluid inside the pericardial sac. We call it a pericardial tamponade. That man flat out refused to believe that human hearts have a membrane around them because he had, dissected a sheep heart in high school. And never saw no sac. Well, I had one girl that really thought if she had SX in the shower she could not get pregnant because all the SPRM must fall out and go down the drain. Her boyfriend had been convinced as well. They did, indeed, end up pregnant. There had been a lot of stand-up shower SX. I caught a patient drinking his own urine once. He thought it would help heal him, somehow. I have never looked at a water pitcher the same way and I always check to make sure it's water. The one is about a nurse I had to help another nurse put a Foley catheter in, a sterile tube that drains urine from the bladder. She, newer nurse, had been trying to put the catheter into the patient's CLT. Needless to say, the nurse was confused, and the patient was confused as well. When I put the catheter into her urethra, obviously not her CLT, it felt much worse for the patient than what had previously been going on. I once administered a certain type of breathing test to a 58 years slash o female patient who worked at a manufacturing plant on 8 hour shifts. In self reporting her smoking history, she told me she smoked up to 8 packs of cigarettes a day. I think her misconception was that she was going to live forever. Not me but my sister, currently in residency. She was with a patient who had a severe pain in her thigh. They screened her, ran thousands of tests and nothing came out of it. They later found out she had a bullet in her arm but that it had hit her from behind, so it couldn't be seen when she laid down on her back. She thought her thigh was in her arm. I seriously do not get how they didn't find it since this is more common in ER situations, but I guess mistakes slip through sometimes. Edit, I don't understand either why the lady didn't point out the fact that they were checking her leg instead of her arm. But she was supposedly very problematic in general and I just feel gratitude to the healthcare workers who have to be nice to people that behave like assholes. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more quality content. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions. Goodbye.